I'm gonna start now. Hi, I'm Kelsey Small here at the Uni Test Kitchen, and today we're making a butternut squash, ricotta, and fried sage pizza. This is a classic take on an Italian pasta on a pizza. To start off, we have a butternut squash puree, we have some fresh mozzarella, we have some ricotta seasoned with black pepper and salt, and we have some sage that we're gonna go fry in olive oil. And we're cooking the pizza on the coat of 16 oven. First step, while our oven is preheating, we're gonna fry our sage. So I'm gonna turn my induction burner on to about medium high, and I'm gonna fill it with some olive oil. About 100 grams of oil is great, about a cup. All right, so our oil is about 350, looking great. We're gonna fry our sage. This goes really, really fast. And a good rule of thumb too when you're frying things is place away from you. That way you have no splatter. The beauty of frying sage is it brings that crunchiness it adds that amazing aromatic quality that sage has, but it kind of like dumbs it down a little bit so you don't get overwhelmed by the flavor. We'll use our little strainer to scoop it out and it smells wonderful. Now that we've fried our sage, it's time to make a pizza. First thing we gotta do is stretch our dough. We have a nice pillowy dough. I'm gonna press really hard on the middle to build a little bit of a crust. And you notice I have a good amount of flour. I don't want it sticky right now. If you are stretching your dough and it feels a little wet, feels a little sticky, a little extra bench flour is not gonna hurt. And we're just gonna let the dough stretch itself. Now that our dough is stretched, it's time to top the pizza. We're gonna top two of the ingredients before the oven and then a couple as a garnish. First things first is we have our butternut squash puree. I just roasted a butternut squash and blended it with some heavy cream and butter. And we're just gonna take a nice dollop when you're spreading purees on a pizza dough, one important thing to know is that you're putting pressure on the dough and it's gonna start sticking to the table. So you're gonna to wanna to give it a little pop after we spread, like so. And now we'll top it with some fresh mozzarella. And now this thing's ready to cook. So I have my perforated peel. I'm gonna sprinkle a little extra flour on. That way you can shake it off before it goes in the oven. And we're just gonna kind of slide it on. Our oven is preheated to about 850. It's gonna cook fast, about 90 seconds. I have my turning peel, and I'm watching the back left corner. That's where it's gonna get the most color from our L-shaped flame, and that's where we're gonna to wanna to turn it first. All right, our pizza is looking great. It's got nice leoparding, it's looking perfect. It's time to finish this bad boy off. So we have some ricotta in a piping bag, seasoned with a little black pepper, and we're just gonna do little florets about one per slice, we'll do six slices, and then maybe one in the middle for good luck. And then we're gonna take our fried sage, and we're also gonna do about one piece per slice. Sage is very strong herb, it's very aromatic, so a little goes a long way. And this pizza looks beautiful, and it's ready to slice. Mm. The creaminess of the cheese, the sage is coming incredible. The butternut squash just brings out those fall flavors. This is a classic. I'm Kelsey Small. For recipes like this and more, head over to uni.com.